Then my gather is even saying, expressing himself that he's surprised that Jane had not um, take hold on anybody about it. Do you think that Jane... What I'm surprised is, is you have so much pride in you that you won't even challenge me. You coward. You shy away with the scriptures. Okay? You pick and choose scriptures and you change what they say. You're a coward. Okay? Another thing is, here, what does it say in scriptures? And he causes, cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive. A, it causes to receive a mark. That doesn't mean that's the mark of the beast. No, it causes because you did not listen to the word of God, the word of Jesus brought with a blood sacrifice. It caused you to get a mark for the beast. Okay? And that's why people, I say people are, aren't paying attention to the scriptures. And let's just do something here too. Let's see if there's a confusion somewhere else because of the other Bibles. And we're going to go into the parallel plus my uh, Savior and studyings. Okay, 13, 16. make it easier on my elbows my shoulders okay and it causes all both small and great rich and poor to receive a, so it caused whatever happened it was what happened caused it okay Okay, and he made all, okay? He required everyone. And he causes all, okay? It also forced all people, great and small. So the idea is, because you did not have scripture in your head, and the works of your hands were like the rich man that asked Jesus, what can I do to receive salvation? Okay. He got his riches through bad means probably. And uh, it caused him to receive a mark of the beast. And Mr. Nolan, oh, I apologize, the Pharisee Nolan um, is such a coward. Okay, I can't emphasize that much anymore. He is a coward. And he will not challenge me. And he's got every excuse in the book. Um, why, uh, you know, nobody, uh, uh, nobody should communicate with Mike Giver. Okay, really? Now, meanwhile, I'm the reason why Jonathan Kleck is going the way he's going. And you are attacking Jonathan Kleck because of what he's doing. Okay? Your words are an oxymoron. Okay? Another thing is, you say, oh, I spammed your page. What? That's because you talk so much filth, you needed that much correction on your page. Okay? Nobody else, uh, you said, spammed your page when they did the same as I did. It's just you cannot stand Sermon on the Web because it totally uh, discredits your teachings. And it's strictly scripture. And you're the one who's pointing fingers when the fingers are pointing back at you. Okay? So. What the people do uh, and he causes, okay? He causes. Why? Because they followed the beast. He caused all, both small and great, 
rich and poor. Now, the funny thing is, all of them get it. That's strange. Why do they all get it? I'm wondering if AI has taken over at this time. Free and bond to receive a, a mark in their right hand. I, I What I'm seeing is everything's going to be so chaos and everything's so... There's going to be so much stealing and theft and all that. They have to control it by a means of, so they say, electronically. Which causes. Okay, because... A chaos is going to hit the streets. And this chaos is going to cause the, a third of the deaths. It's going to cause the world to change drastically. They have implemented our enemies into our land purposely for this. Why is it that Muslims are speaking for Canadians and Americans now? Why is it that the people cannot speak for themselves like Mr. Nolan does for everybody else? He speaks for everybody else. The takeover is, is, is on our lap, people. And if we allow it to happen, we deserve the consequence. These people are as evil as evil can be, as described in, this, in the scriptures. And they crept in as we were sleeping and planted seeds. These seeds are being planted through uh, our sexual activities and the greed for money. And if people are, are not going to pent because of this, our children will pay the consequences. Father, please, please allow me to wake up the people for you and the salvation. This battle has to be done through Jesus, not me. And anything that I do is just of the flesh. But what Jesus does is of the spirit. In the battle, we do not battle the flesh and blood. We are battling the spirit. Evil spirits from heavenly places with high powers. Powers that we do not understand. And that's where you come in, Jesus. Please, hear my prayers. And thank you for attending to my prayers. In Jesus' name, amen.